Greetings and welcome to another edition of Science Sunday. We're here, of course, with Aoife Ryle at the Connecticut Science Center. Good morning. Good morning. So today, I mean, I want to talk about chickens. We can talk about can chickens. Can we talk about chickens? <laughs> okay. Tell me about chickens and yeah. maybe how they breathe before they actually become chickens? Yes. Okay. So we're talking about how those chickens um, get air in and air out uh, while they're still developing inside of an egg. Okay. Um, and you can actually try this at home and see it for yourself. Oh, so. I love the at home kind of experiments that we do. Yeah, yeah, and I think sometimes too with biology, right? It's like you would need an ultrasound or you would need this. This you can do with um, some eggs, obviously. Um, dish soap, a little bit of food coloring and some water. That's a lot That's of food coloring. It. Yes, I mean, we love food it. coloring yeah. here. <laughs> so you're gonna put about a cup and a half of water. And then we're doing a quarter teaspoon ish of dish soap. Love an ish. Ish. Anything will work. And then the food coloring is really the important part because we want to see um, this water kind of going through the shell and the membrane. Okay. Um, because if water can pass through, then we know air would be able to pass through. So that's your whole mixture there. That's it. Super simple. Nice and easy. Water, soap, food coloring. A lot of people have that at home already. Exactly. And does the color of food coloring matter? No, I just like blue. Okay. I think red, you know, kind of looks like blood. And channel and... three, we like blue too. So, exactly. And I'm watching your hair today. <laughs> so, then you're going to take an egg. Um, now, actually, older eggs work a little bit better. So, if you have any old eggs you don't know what to do with, this is a good um, experiment. And then you're just going to put them in there. And does it matter, brown versus white? It. You can try that out. Okay. But it doesn't that. really matter. <laughs> Still try. Yeah. Um, so we're going to leave that in there for about an hour. An hour, okay. About an hour, that's all it takes. So we're going to pretend like an hour's gone by? We're going to pretend an hour has gone by. <laughs> and I have a couple here that I have already done, so and I'm going to give you this egg. Okay. And not really too much has changed from the outside, maybe it's just a little bit wet. I'm going to have you crack that egg open and we're going to take a look at the inside of the And shell. we should point out these because of what we're doing. These are not hard boiled. These are. No, these are raw eggs. <laughs> that would defeat the whole purpose of this, but <laughs> for the sake of cracking it and then making a mess. We did a segment on this a while ago. We did. Do you remember that? So. All right, now take a look at the inside of yours. How cool is that? Isn't that cool? So all those little dots are actually pores um, that that water has been able to get through. Now mine was a newer egg, and so you kind of see the difference there. So these pores are still a little bit too small. Okay. So they'll open a little bit more as the egg gets older. So that's why we want to use a slightly older egg where those pores have been able to open a little bit more. Like so that. proving that because the food coloring is able to penetrate the shell, mm -hmm. as you said earlier, like with water and the, the, the air then could penetrate. Right, because yeah. there's a developing chicken in there. So it needs, you know, obviously it needs air um, to get in and then air to get out as well. Wonderful. Cool? All right. So uh, as we typically like to do as we wrap up these segments, let folks know about something happening here at the Science Center and there's something what happening every weekend this yes. month. So we have our wildlife encounter show coming back, um, hugely popular. They don't have chickens, but they have much cooler animals that maybe you don't see um, every day. And so they will be in our theater have all kinds of cool exotic animals. And the theater is amazing if you've yet to go. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, stadium seating, uh, air conditioned, which is awesome yeah. in the summer we're having. <laughs> uh, of course, the whole science center is air conditioned, but um, that's an add-on, we should say, yes. to uh, general admission. Yeah, so still um, kids under 18 who are Connecticut residents get in for free with one adult, and then this show is an add-on, but totally worth it. Absolutely. All right, Aoife, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.